just because people are going to try and get the time qualifier and Molly's a front runner so any race that I'm in with her I know that she's just going to make it honest pretty much so it didn't it actually felt good honestly I haven't really doubled at this caliber of a meet before so I feel good going into it my coach was just like don't press if you don't have to you know understand what the qualifying is and go for that so I definitely feel like I had something left and could compete with those girls but I saw where I was and where people were behind me, so I just tried to bring it in best I could to just secure my auto qualifier. Speaking of trying to double, <laughs> this caliber of meat is uh, the one before the next bigger caliber of meat. Is that really what you're going to try to do? Um, you make the team in the five? I mean, it's kind of just like second week is a blank slate, so I'm going into it like this is my opportunity to qualify for for the Olympics and um, you know one day at a time make the decision if it comes if that were to happen that would be you know an incredible feat but for right now it's going to be a pretty pretty incredible final so it's going to take a lot to get top three but I'm going to rest up the next couple of days and come back to do my best to do that. Already on the team did you come into this race a little bit more relaxed than you would have? Um, I, I, I couldn't say, but just because, like I said, I haven't had this experience before, but I, I felt relaxed and comfortable coming into this entire meet. There was definitely a little bit more nerves going into the 10K than this than today, but I still knew I had to kind of have my head on straight to, this wasn't going to be just, you know, a flop. You had to definitely get out there and run, so just did my best to refocus, and we had a lot of time to do that, so it was good. How does it, I mean, you're already an Olympian, so, I mean, that's, how do you feel about what's happening? I feel good, I, but I also definitely am just trying to have, you know, quick memory and, and forget what happened and, and move on to the next one. I definitely want to do well in the 5K. Once you make the decision to toe the line, you know, you, you want to do the best that you can for, for yourself and for all the people that are here supporting you. Um, you have quite a... I mean, you've had some really fabulous meets here at Hayward. Is this a, sort of your lucky track? Yeah, I, I, I hope so. That, that would be good. This is well, I mean, where all the meets NCAA, are. So. <laughs> you won your one NCAA title. Yeah, I definitely have had uh, the last few years. I've been, and I've had some good, some good memories from here. So I'm excited to definitely tell the line on Sunday and hopefully make some more good memories. I guess you Honestly, uh, I'm not really thinking that way. I'm just thinking about trying to compete the best I can to get top three, and if that is a situation then you deal with it afterwards but to get top three is going to be hard enough so I'm just focused on that. Did you, uh, you know, celebrate it all the night you made the team or do you just sort of immediately refocus on the 5K? How did you handle that sort of transition? Yeah well we had Ajay the next day so I was excited but it, it meant a lot more for us to be able to go there together so we're roommates we were roommates at this meet so it was just kind of like okay you know kind of somber don't, the coach, you know, you don't want to, your coach is already nervous because he has another athlete going out there. So it was fun for my family, and I, I was obviously really excited. But it, the excitement really set in when Aj qualified the next day because you really want to be there with the person you've been working with all year. So. Awesome.